we just wanted to know, you know, what essentially what happened. Why why was that infant left here? Here's what happened. It started with a post to a local classifieds page on Facebook. A resident saying that their six-month-old baby was left inside of a Kids R Us daycare alone after hours. I mean, at this point, I would definitely recommend nobody ever take their child there. That was Tanea Merchant, a single mother who relies on Kids R Us daycare to watch her baby Avery when she is at work. However, when she went to go pick up her son on Friday, that wasn't the case. I get out of the truck and I go to open the door and it was locked. So I instant panic. Like, I had no idea what the situation was. I just knew I couldn't get in there and I knew nobody else picked my baby up, so I was very confused. So I called um, the director lady, the one that I communicate with the most, and I called her and she answers. And instantly, like she already knew, she told me that, um, she's like, I know I'm so mad, I'm almost there. We took a drive over to Kids RS Daycare where we spoke to owner Kim Redding. Redding explains there was a miscommunication among staff members. The staff said all the kids have gone. Oh, and okay. she said, you guys go ahead and go and I'll vacuum. So it was a miscommunication? Miscommunication. It's this kind of miscommunication the state wanted to avoid. In April of 2014, citing the facility for not having updated records. At that time, child care licensing found that the provider did not have a daily attendance record that was accurate. 18 children were present. However, only three children were signed in. You know, it was a horrible mistake, and we're sorry, and we've got a damage control method. Uh, just like to double check all staff to check out the sign out sheets and, gotcha. you know, just do. Um, be careful because it was a horrible mistake and I'm not downplaying it. It's horrible. It was a bad mistake. Other issues highlighted by the state. In 2014, CCL also found that 18 children, including four infants, were in the care of one unapproved caregiver. Then in June of 2017, eight children were found in the care of one caregiver. According to child care licensing, there should always be at least two caregivers caring for the children at all times when there are more than six children present. The state documents that CCL approved correction plans following those incidents and others. As for this incident... You know, the only thing we can do, we can't change that mistake. The only thing we can do is put in forward more extra caution. 